All right, so I'm going to show you guys today how to uh, record your computer screen while uh, recording Overwatch. So let's go through what you'll need. So you'll need a, a software called Open Broadcaster Software. The version I have here is the classic version. So there's two versions. You get OBS Studio, which is newer, which is what I'm actually recording uh, what you're seeing with. And there's OBS uh, Classic, which I prefer more. Um, and so I'm just going to show you how to do what uh, I do to record uh, Overwatch gameplay. And uh, yeah, so first thing you need, you go into settings. So this is assuming you have the program installed. So in your settings in OBS, in general, you can save this as whatever you want. So let's call this like Overwatch recording, right? And then in encoding, this is where you have to do some research, right? So in encoding, you're going to want to use whatever impacts your uh, hardware the least that still makes playing the game enjoyable. So if you have a really powerful CPU, maybe a weak GPU, you can do X264. Uh, if you have Quick Sync as an option, I suggest doing that, but look into uh, what it takes to run that. You need an Intel CPU, you'll need the iGPU uh, enabled, and you'll need uh, at least one monitor plugged into uh, your uh, iGPU for this to work. Uh, I use NVIDIA NVENC because I have a GTX 970, and that's just what works best for me. Uh, I downscale to 720p, so I leave this at like 2900 kilos per second. If you're doing 1080p, you can leave it at 300 or 3500, excuse me. Um, but for 720p, I'm just leaving it at 2900. For audio, it doesn't matter as much. You can do MP3 or AAC. Um, you can leave it at 48,000 kilohertz or 44.1, doesn't really matter which. Um, bit rate, I leave it 160 just because YouTube and Twitch uh, scale that down a little bit, so I don't care to have like the highest quality. It also really affects the uh, um, like how much, how many resources it takes to run that. Leave it stereo. So broadcast settings, this depends on, oh, save and fly, sure. Um, so if you're going to use Twitch, you're going to do live stream. If you're going to record, you're going to do file output only. Now I'm going to show you how to record this, so uh, you'll want to use file output only. Um, for the file path, go browse, save it wherever you want, and then make sure to save it as an MP4. So I'll save this as my little uh, Right, and I'll put that in videos, I just save it there. And for this, none of the other settings really matter. And save and apply changes, yes. So the video adapter. So because I'm using uh, the NVENC encoder, I'm going to use my GTX 970. I actually have the iGPU disabled on my Core i7. Uh, but if you have it enabled and you're using QuickSync, drop down and choose the Intel HD graphics. Um, if you have a dedicated graphics card, use that. Um, or I, th I think if you're using an AMD GPU, uh, you can use X264, uh, which will probably be your best bet. Uh, the resolution is going to be the resolution of the screen I'm recording this on, which is 1920 by 1080. And then I'm downscaling this to 720p and uh, using the Biovinner filter. It doesn't really matter which, um, but I just leave it at that. And then I have it at 60 FPS. If you want to use more than 60 FPS in uh, advance, you can change this somewhere, yeah, allow 61 to 120 FPS, but I'm just going to leave it at 60. So there's that. Um, if you're on Windows 7, just make sure to disable arrow. Then audio. So your desktop audio device you can leave as default unless you have multiple audio sources and you want to be sure which. So I use my uh, Encore MDAC, which is my amp um, and DAC combo. And if you're microphone, I'm just using my webcam mic, which is eh, but whatever. And then this I leave except for the desktop and mic boost. Uh, you're going to want to mess with these if you want. Like say your mic is really quiet, you might want to boost that up, or maybe it's too loud, put it down. Uh, one is the default, I have them both at two. Hotkeys, this, I don't know, if you want to use push to talk for your mic, you can. I don't do that. Then broadcasting settings are different. Uh, hotkeys, I don't touch these. Um, for advanced, uh, use multi-threaded optimizations if they are allowed to you. Um, and the NVENC preset I use is high quality, but you can leave it automatic. It really doesn't matter too much. Um, oops, I just want to check something. That's all right. Um, settings, advanced, NVENC, two pass. So that's custom settings I have set. And use CFR, you want that checked. And I think that's good on there. If you're using Quick Sync, uh, just put in your target kill per second. Depends on the resolution you're using. Just put it like 2800 or 2900 if you're 720p, 3500 if you're at 1080p, etc. Um, the browser, I don't mess with that. Microphone noise gate, mess with this however you like, I don't touch it. 
and scene switcher, if you like to switch scenes, you can mess with this. But this should get you in the right direction. So hopefully that wasn't too fast, and we continue here. So now you need to choose sources, because if I don't have sources enabled by preview stream, it's just going to be a blank screen like this, right? So I'll stop the preview. And uh, you're going to want to add sources. So to do this, you right click, and I'm using my webcam for this recording. I You can't see me right now, but you'll see me when I start running uh, OBS. So you have your video capture device for your webcam, right? And this will just be two for me. You choose your webcam or whatever else you have for that. And then I suggest using custom resolution. If you want to sit in the corner, I use 176 by 144, but just use a small resolution and you should be good. Um, and then leave it at 30. I don't think my webcam supports more than 30, so I just leave it at that. Um, and I think that should be good. And uh, I'm going to cancel that because I already have that as a source. And you want to do either monitor capture or game capture. So this is monitor capture. I have to capture the entire screen. Um, but if you're doing a game, you want to do add game capture. And uh, you want to choose whatever you have running. So I have Overwatch running in the background right now. Uh, you choose Overwatch and then leave everything as is unless you want to adjust the gamma. I leave it at 1, uh, which is the default. And you should be good to go. Now I'm going to delete that because I already have it uh, running, I do believe. Yeah, Overwatch. All right. So if I were to preview this, you should see Overwatch. Actually, I'm running the PTR. Let's see. Well, you can see Overwatch running here. I'm going to exit it really quick because you're seeing that through OBS Studio. Um, I'm going to actually run Overwatch, not uh, the public test region. Let's let it close real quick here. America's play, and the audio might get loud. Excuse me here. Let that open up. And so you should be able to see Overwatch through OBS Studio, um, which I'm running to record the whole thing. But let's see. Looks like it's frozen OBS Studio. That's all right. So now it's going back to the screen. Awesome. So now if I preview the stream in OBS Classic, you should see me, hello, and you have Arisa, new hero right here, and you're good to record. So um, I can show you that it runs perfectly fine. Uh, now I'm running two instances of OBS, essentially, and a webcam and the game. So it takes a lot of resources to uh, record this. So if you don't have a powerful computer, this may not work best for you, but uh, yeah. So once you're done with this, you should be good to go. Just uh, go back to OBS here, just hit, uh, or we're in preview right now. But when you stop preview, just hit start recording. And it gives you some options here. I don't mess with them. But if you start recording, it should show you that. And I have this game minimized right now, but you can see it on the screen. And uh, once I stop the recording, you should find the, video somewhere over here. Uh, I think, let's see, I think it's this right here. That is not it. That's right. It'll say wherever you left uh, left it to in the file explorer and it'll be there. So yeah, I think that is all guys. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I'll see you later.